camera received the Army Accommodation Medal for exceptionally meritorious service while assigned as primary instructor for the 1st Battalion, 3rd Ops Brigade, Sarge, Sergeant Damron's outstanding weapons knowledge, instructional technique, and range operations experience contributed to improve soldiers and unit readiness. Sergeant Damron's efforts during the Brigade Observer Controller Academy and the 2014 CSTX Warx exercises contributed greatly to the mission and accomplishments and reflect great credit upon himself, the 1st Battalion, 3rd Ops Brigade, the 78th Training Division, and the United States Army Reserve from 09 November 2006 to 4 July 2014. We'll present the Army Accommodation Medal to his wife, Nikisha Edwards Damron. Most of you have known Sergeant Damron a lot, like, a lot longer and a lot better than I. But what I remember about Sergeant Damron, and I'll never forget, one battle assembly, Sergeant Damron said, ma'am, I got your picture. I said, you got my picture? Make a long story short, I don't know if it was during AT or during a battle assembly, him and Sergeant Wright and some other soldiers were trying to get something done. We were trying to meet a deadline. Her phone didn't work, he called me from his phone. Technology today, there are quite a bit of apps on our phones. I had an app on my phone, he had my number in his phone. So anytime I would change my Facebook profile picture, he would get my picture. <laughs> so every battle assembly that I would change my profile picture, I would see Son Damron, and he would say, ma'am, I got your picture. I will never forget, as no one else will ever forget, Son Damron's smile. Sergeant Damron was one soldier who I never heard grumble nor complain. He did everything with a smile. So today, right here, right now, as I stand here before you, I'm confident in my heart that Son Damron has that smile. Gone, but not forgotten. Good afternoon. Today, with a heavy heart, we stand here to remember one of our own, Sergeant William Damron, who's a member of our family, Third Ops Brigade family, since November 2006. Now, I never had the privilege to serve and work with Sergeant Damron, but from everything I, I gather from not only today, but from when we were notified of his passing, just how special, not only of a soldier he was, but as a person. The number of soldiers who made the trek up to Tennessee for his home, his uh, homegoing, just shows the amount of respect that we had for Sergeant Damron. We will honor him by holding true what he believed in, loyalty to the unit, <clears throat> dedication to his fellow soldiers, and the overall success of the unit. Esprit de corps by holding steadfast the meaning of being a non-commissioned officer and a true leader. Motivation, no matter what the mission, but Sergeant Damron took the lead and completed it. As we go forward from today, in everything you do, Continue to make Sergeant Damron proud of what we do and how we do it. Thank you. Well, they have told you most of what there is to say about Sergeant Damron, Sean, Nancy, whatever it is we called him. He was all of that and a whole lot more. I came to the unit in 2008 and Damron was one of the first person that I saw and I didn't know whether to pronounce his name Damron or Damron. And he told me one day, he said, Auntie, the D 
damn wrong. That wrong. <laughs> and of course, like the major, uh, like Colonel Watson say, he's, I truly believe in my heart that he's looking down on us today with that big bright smile. You know, like, what are you guys so quiet and sad about? Because you know, when there's that run, there's a whole lot of laughter. We can all agree that when there was work to be done, Damron showed up, the job got done in a professional manner, and it got done in a timely manner. No ma'am, he never complained. I don't care what was going on. Even when I was walking through in a ball of fire because of something was going on wrong in my detachment, he would always say, auntie, auntie, uh-uh, don't let him get to you, auntie. Don't let him get to you, auntie. So he always comforted and calmed me. I also would like to share with you that on uh, Sun Monday, I got a call from his mother. She asked me to thank her. It was about, it was about 30 strong pencils. And she asked me to tell everybody she didn't want to send a card. She'd rather to do it word of mouth. So she called me and Miss Gail said, her heart is at peace and her mind is at rest. She wanted to thank all of us. She said she could not have done it without us. And she appreciate everything that we did for her. On last night about 10 o'clock, I may be one of the only people with a landline. So I'm in the house on the landline and the cell phone ring and it's her. So I got a little nervous and I tossed the set, that landline over to the side and I, yes ma'am. You know, she's like, who is this? I said, oh, it's Master Sergeant Beverly. And she wanted to know how this service went. And I reminded her that it's not until today. And as I told Sean's cousin Bernard, I would call her later today and let her know how this service went. Thank you. <clears throat> Sergeant Demron was one of those soldiers that volunteered for everything. Um, ever since I got to the unit, he was like, sir, I got your back, I got you covered. So I never had any issues out of him. He always pretty much was you know, there volunteering for everything. I think we, we can all agree that he was a, de a dependable soldier. Sergeant Demron was a perfect example of, a, of an NCO and, and, and how the military should, how NCO should carry themselves in the military. He, he always was doing the right thing, except for a few times when he was late to formation and, um, and he showed up in PT formation with black socks uh, when we <laughs> first got, as soon as we got to the Sergeant Major and I told him he owed me a few uh, push-ups for that. So um, I remember the last thing he said to me, he called me and said, uh, he basically <coughs> said, sir, thank you for squaring away my bonus for me. Um, but it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, so I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Roger that, you know, anything I can do to help. Um, so I would close by saying, Sergeant Demron, you'll be truly missed and never forgotten. And as we take a knee and drink water at this time, we know that he got our six covered. Godspeed. And Godspeed and rest of Sergeant Damron, um, it was just like we were at CSTX just yesterday, right? Who remembers Colonel Woody, right? <laughs> <laughs> Charismatic, <clears throat> go to bat for you day and night, all right? He said, Sergeant Major, who is that he's by? I said, sir, who are you talking about? <clears throat> who's that buck sergeant right there? Oh, sir, that's Sergeant Damron. I want him, I need him, all right? Because what, what else do you tell a Sergeant Major says, Sergeant Dameron, this is what I need. Any other soldier would say what? Got it, Sergeant Major, don't worry about it. Sergeant Dameron took it and smiled, all right? Wasn't no talk back. I don't think I can get it done, Sergeant Major. Got it, Sergeant Major, don't worry about it. One of those take charge soldiers, if he had it, he had. Colonel Woody spoke highly of Sergeant Damron, especially for the OCT, brand new mission for this unit, right? Where else can you get an 06 to praise the E5, took the time out to spend time with him, wherever he was at, 
Sergeant Major, you got one good soldier right there. That's my non-commissioned officer who led the way. And he took great pride in that. When I first reported into the unit, and like Sergeant, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Watson said, right, his smile took over. I don't think there was a moment he didn't smile. Right? He was always cheesy, like he was up to something. <laughs> so I had to, you know, well, what are you doing? What are you thinking about? And then Sergeant Major was happy to be here. Right? He was always happy to be here. Some of us should take the same attributes as Sergeant Damron. Live life to the foot. Take it with a smile. Drive on with the mission. That's what he did. That's what he stood for. Dedicated, motivated. Exactly what a non-commissioned officer should be. Doesn't look for excuses. He looks for solutions. And if he can't get it done, he knows he needs to. Who does he need to see? Our mission. So remember his legacy. It's not what you think of yourself. It's what we think of him. And I almost guarantee it's positive. So you honor his memory, how he lived day to day, and how he treated each and every one of you that he spent time with. Stay positive, stay motivated, and be humble and take Day to day, time will heal all things. If you would, please stand with me for the benediction. Receive this benediction from the Lord. To him who is able to keep you from falling, and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy. To the only God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ, our Lord, before all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Staff Sergeant Addison. Here, First Sergeant. Staff Sergeant Bradley. Here, First Sergeant. Staff Sergeant Cowan. Here, First Sergeant. Sergeant Damron. Sergeant William Damron. Sergeant William L. Damron. Present arms.